But that's a, uh, the problem for myself because for my philosophy, individuality uh, is uh, uh, of no importance almost. So uh, my identity is my ideas. They are much more important than myself, my personality, my biography, uh, because my biography is my bi bibliography, I would say. So I'm philosopher, Russian philosopher. I'm trying to understand the identity of Russia, uh, history, the logic of Russian history. I try to understand the place of modern Russia in the world, and it is impossible without studying the roots of the history of the other nations, other cultures. So I'm trying to, 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 to understand where we are, who we are, uh, where we are going, uh, that is kind of my presentation. I, in all my life, I do nothing else than trying to understand what is going on and how it has happened and uh, where we are going for. I am rejecting uh, liberalism, but be because liberalism is the uh, universal dogma, so I am challenging what everybody thinks or the kind of uh, ground, ideological ground of contemporary, con, uh, con contemporary world. So th that is really dangerous if uh, it is successful. For example, if, uh, if I would be a kind of insignificant, um, insignificant insect trying to, to aggress uh, the huge construction that is prosperous and without problem, uh, I, I wouldn't be judged uh, dangerous. So that uh, is a, a real recognition of, of my efforts in order to, to put uh, liberalism under question. But the most important in all that, why it is really dangerous, because I am against all um, forms of anti-liberalism that belong to the past. And first of all, I am anti-communist and anti-fascist. Because these two forms of anti-liberalism belong to the past. And I am I'm trying to attack liberalism from the future or from the present, regarding liberalism as it is, and trying to understand his logic, his uh, change uh, in, the, in its essence and what um, could be opposed to it not from the perspective of the past but from uh, a kind of ground, uh, uh, metaphysical ground outside of modernity. It's not before to modernity or into the pre-liberal modernity, modernity of communism or fascism. I'm, I, I, I'm, I like to, 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 to think outside of the limits of liberalism, uh, not uh, trying to, to reduce its danger parts or to improve or adjust it. Uh, I think that liberalism is absolutely wrong, not because of liberalism, but because of modernity. Because modernity uh, liberal uh, was liberal from the beginning, it was not so clear from the beginning that individualism will win finally over socialism or nationalism, but now it is clear. And that was individualistic roots of the Western modernity that is wrong. That the concept of the man, of the human being as an individual is, individual is wrong. So I am trying to, to challenge that. Uh, trying to propose alternative anthropology in order to fight against liberalism. And if liberals who are prevailing in the uh, modern world judge uh, me a uh, most dangerous philosopher, I, I, for me it is a pleasure. So, first of all, I think that uh, liberalism uh, considered uh, the subject of the freedom as individual. So that is already a limitation of uh, the freedom. Next step, uh, um, idea of liberalism, it is only negative freedom, the liberty. Uh, that uh, negative freedom means that liberals defend only liberty from and not freedom for. That was in the middle, in the, in the essence, in the essential uh, founders of liberalism. 
So a negative kind of, of, of freedom is real and has content when you compare liberalism with not liberal system. For example, uh, traditional society or in the modernity with uh, totalitarian regimes as uh, communism or fascism. So in that case, liberalism is operative, is working, uh, because uh, um, uh, the negative freedom is the negative from uh, absence of freedom represented in totalitarian or authoritarian regime. So it is something real. But when all these regimes are won by liberalism, and that was the case in the 1901, when Fukuyama, with whom I from time to time have debates, very fruitful, as long as uh, I concern myself at least, so uh, when he has declared the end of history, that was completely rightful uh, remark because that was the end of comparison between liberalism and communism. So, uh, from now on there was only one uh, political ideology prevailing on the world scale, that was liberalism. But, in that situation, uh, there appear the limits of liberalism, because it, uh, the, the liberty of liberalism is real, comparing with communism or fascism, with totalitarianism. When liberalism is compared to itself, it becomes totalitarian and it be begins to show its uh, inner negativity on one hand and other hand. Uh, it begins to manifest its totalitarian nature. Because now you are free in the world with uh, liberalism uh, omnipresent and uh, that uh, has won. In that position, liberalism gives us the freedom to be liberal. And it takes off the freedom to be illiberal. You could be in, uh, in the liberal society uh, uh, right liberal, left liberal, uh, you could be uh, far left liberal as Melanchon or Bernie Sanders, uh, you could be as well in some special cases far right but liberals, but still liberals. You should be, you are free in the real of liberalism, you are free to be liberal and you are not free to be illiberal or not liberal. So there, that is a kind of totalitarianism that appeared after precisely the victory, or planetarian victory of liberalism. And we should deal with this status quo, not project uh, the shadows of the past, not compare liberalism with communism or fascism. It, that all belongs to the past. Now, the, the totalitarianism, the Orwell, or rather Huxley, is precisely in the liberalism, the challenge to the freedom, and the, the most important enemy of the freedom now is the negative freedom of totalitarian liberalism. And I'm calling that third totalitarianism. First was communist, second fascist, and now when we have done with uh, first and second totalitarianism, we are dealing Welcome to the third totalitarianism. And that is the, uh, the, the, my criticism of a uh, 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 politic of globalization and of United States of America, that United States of America, at least before Trump came to power, became a kind of symbol of this globalization, of this liberalism, of this unipolarity, with one set of values, when one American life imposed uh, as something inevitable, as a kind of destiny to all the humanity. And that uh, is why I'm against that. But the most important situation that we need to secure the freedom from liberalism, because now liberalism is openly the opponent uh, of uh, the real freedom. But it is, I'm absolutely sure that if we make the step behind so, in communism or in fashion, we could not find the real freedom. We need to find real uh, freedom elsewhere, not inside of modernity, not in liberalism, but outside of liberalism, but as well outside of communism and fascism. So, that is invitation to think uh, beyond these limits, and that is the, the sense of my fourth political theory. Both your friends 
and your enemies claim that Vladimir Putin is listening to you. So it must be true. Why is he listening to you? I am trying, first of all, to give way to ideas that uh, I am Platonicians, uh, Platonician, so I, I, I believe in the existence of ideas independently from the man. So, and I am uh, in service of ideas, and I am Russian, so my ideas are, are uh, with necessity uh, Russian ideas. So I, I am trying to give way to Russian idea, to I'm trying to to uh, help them to appear, and that is a kind of uh, the book of of Russian ideas. And Putin uh, looks into these books, not uh, written by Alexander Dugin, but the books of Russian ideas. Um, for me, it is important to give way, to explain, to propose, not my will or my special uh, convictions. Uh, but to, to, to reveal what we have forgotten during communism, what we have lost during uh, uh, our um, party debates between the left and right, communists, Tsarists, uh, liberals. And I'm trying to, uh, to, to, to create a kind of uh, Russian dictionary of ideas. So Putin uh, is, rega is regarding there and from time to time takes what he things uh, are, uh, are useful in practice. So I'm trying to understand first and to react after. And understanding is the art, is philosophical art. art. And we could not uh, claim that political leader have, uh, um, have the, the possibility to spend so, time, so many time as maybe he would like to in order to, to this art of understanding.